Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam for those of you who are new here and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my Apple Watch video. Recently got the Apple Watch SE and today I'm going to show you guys how I use it and how I get a lot of use out of it as an average person <laughs> by walking you through my different watch faces, apps that I find most helpful, and then just additional features that I also use every single day. So starting with my main complication or watch face that I use, it's just my default watch face. For those of you who aren't familiar, when you go into the Apple Watch app, you can see different options for watch faces and different setups. This one is just the most intuitive to me, so I use this setup for both of my watch faces. It's very clear to the point and most useful for me. Something I actually didn't realize I would find so helpful is having the time always literally on hand or on wrist. Having my phone with me all the time, I never really felt the need to have a watch, but after having an Apple Watch, I noticed how much less I was checking my phone constantly just to see the time and then getting distracted. So it's really, really nice to depend on my phone a little bit less. It's definitely worth it for that reason alone, in my opinion. In the middle, this is where I have my calendar and just my upcoming appointments, meetings, etc. Synced with my work calendar as well as with my personal calendars. So any time block that I have on my calendar, I'm able to see it directly on my watch. In the top left, you'll see this little workout exercise person that is the workout app I have this little button on both my complications just because I always want to be able to access that as quick as possible because I never remember to start my workout on my Apple watch until I'm like a minute in then to the bottom left, this is actually a new app that I found from another Apple Watch video. I'll link it down below. In the bottom left, this is the Money Coach app. I love this app so, so much because it forces me to be a bit more mindful about the amount of money that I'm spending. As soon as I open the app on the watch face, I'm able to just select the minus button and then manually enter what I've spent. And then on the app itself, you'll be able to see how much you spent in a day, how much you spent in a week, and so it's definitely been a bit eye-opening for me, and it's made me way more conscious of how much I'm spending. And in the bottom middle, this is the activity log that I have. Throughout the day, I'll just look and glance at the progress in each of the different rings. So before I was working from home all the time, um, I was far more active, so this has been very helpful to, again, just keep me more mindful of how sedentary I am or how much more active I've been. I don't really go into the app itself. I find that the app preview on the watch face is very very helpful in itself and then to the bottom right we have an app called habit it's just a habit tracking app I like this app very very much because it connects to your iOS health app and it just has a nice user interface it doesn't overcomplicate the user need of wanting to track the progress you're making with habits that you're trying to build and this app delivers so so nicely I love having it on the watch face because all you have to do is click on the app and then click on whatever habit you've just completed and you're done. Moving on to the second watch face that I use. As I mentioned before, it's the same setup. I just find the setup to be the most intuitive. In the middle, I have the conditions. I don't know why, I just avidly check the weather all the time. As soon as you click on the weather app, you could see all the information about air quality, UV index, hour by hour breakdown for each day or for the day itself, wind speed, you know, just standard weather things i guess so i like having that just in the middle because it's just it looks cool too i like seeing the different sun icons or like cloud icon you can also adjust that to see other aspects of the weather but i haven't tried that yet and in the top left we just have the battery level for the apple watch itself and then in the bottom left, this is the app I use. It's actually the health app with um, iOS, but it's for tracking your cycle. Even though there's other cycle tracking apps that have an Apple Watch app as well, they don't always have many functional features. They're not really functional at all. You have to open the iPhone app in order to actually utilize the Apple Watch app, which I just feel like defeats the purpose sometimes, depending on the app objective, obviously. But with this, you can track directly from the Apple Watch, which is so nice, so convenient, and again, just helps me to stay on top of things a lot better than I would without the Apple Watch. Now let's get into some of the Apple Watch apps that I use most often that aren't necessarily on my Apple Watch faces. I don't really love the setup of the Apple Watch app layout. It just, it seems very cluttered to me and I know you can do them in um, a list format, but that just takes very long to go through. So this is definitely, for me, the more efficient way to find the app that I need amongst the chaos, <laughs> but especially because you can't delete a lot of the pre-installed apps by Apple, even though I don't use more than half of them, which is 
frustrating, but whatever. This app is called Cheat Sheet, and I love this app so much to just create little cheat sheets and little notes for things that one, don't need super high security, but two, that you just can never remember offhand. Random things like the extension to someone's phone line in an office, I use it every single day. The next one I have is Shazam, which is so great to use on the Apple Watch. I think it's one of the more well-known apps to just identify music or like find out the name of a song you don't know. It has always worked quite well on the Apple Watch while being way more subtle too. And then we have the camera remote. This is something that I haven't really used yet, but I could definitely see myself utilizing it far more as I'm getting back into content creation and whatnot. Having a camera remote is such a great feature. I love that they created that. I think that's one of my favorite features, even though I don't use it often. It's just nice to know that it's there, I guess. So now I'll go through some of my favorite features, those that are just pre-installed. When you scroll up from the home screen or from the watch face itself, you'll see a bunch of different apps as you would with the control center on the iPhone. And there you can do a lot of really cool features. My favorite is this little ping feature that you can click and then it just pings your iPhone and helps you find your iPhone. Watch. Awesome. I love it. I love how it's in the control center. You don't have to download a separate app for it. And then the other thing that I use very often is this little flashlight app. And this is just like the flashlight on your phone, except it's a little bit less intense. So when it's late at night, and if I'm like the last person up in my house, I don't want to turn all the lights on and potentially wake people up. So I just like to use the little flashlight app and it's perfect because I don't need to carry my phone in addition to like anything else that I might be carrying, like cups that I'm bringing downstairs after having them pile up all day in my room. It's one less thing to carry. And I like the fact that it auto dims or auto brightens based on how dark it is. I realize that there's a lot more to still uncover about the Apple Watch. Looking forward to finding more uses out of it and discovering more apps and whatnot every single day. But what's on my iPhone video is coming quite soon, but if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in my next video.